What is going on guys? So today we're going to talk about how to take care of your feet when you're at basic training or really just in general when you're doing ruck marches and yes, this video is actually really, really important. So I know that there is a lot of you out there who don't do like a lot of hiking and things like that just on the civilian side. So you're not, you know, really, really active going out for long walks, going up mountains. You probably don't know exactly how to take care of your feet because it's basically going to be similar how you would do it for hiking versus how you would do it in the actual military, except there's a few small differences because of restrictions that you're gonna have. And I'm gonna talk about that in this video, some of the things that you need to do beforehand, before you even get started on your ruck march. And then once kind of some issues occur, how you should actually tackle that and handle that. Because at basic training, it's going to be, it's gonna be crazy for a lot of people. You know, I've talked about before, you know, how not to get injured. I think on that video, you know, I have, you know, somebody's boots bleeding. Like they're literally, their feet are bleeding and it's bleeding out of their boots. I've got this here. This is the boot that you're gonna wear when you go to base training. Like this is the exact same boot that you are going to wear. And once you break it in, it's not all that bad. But before you break it in, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's basically like some concrete in the back. And if you are not used to actually walking around and used to being on your feet a lot, these boots are gonna tear you up at base strength. They are just gonna shred your feet to pieces if you don't take the right precautions. And I'm gonna talk about that right now. So of course, the first thing that you need to do before you get into all this rucking is don't have the first time that you ruck at basic training be the first time that you get out and hike. Because I remember at reception, there was this one guy, he actually quit at reception and I, he was all worried and stuff. And he like was like, I've, I've never like ran, I've never done anything. I've never gone hiking or whatever. Don't let that be you, please don't let that be you. But as far as like rucking and stuff, you know, especially if you guys are option 40 guys or if you're going 18X or you're gonna go special forces, you really need to make sure that you're doing just some hiking and stuff. Make sure that you're getting your feet used to this beforehand because that's how you're going to uh, basically prevent injuries in the future is your feet are just gonna get tougher over time in the army. That's kind of just the way it is depending on your MOS, if you're going infantry, you're gonna be doing a lot of rucking, so your feet are gonna get tougher and tougher. So when you first enlist, they're gonna be like at their weakest point. So just make sure that you prepare, you do your due diligence or whatever ahead of time, and actually go for some rucks, and actually go for some you know, hikes and stuff to actually try to prepare your feet. Now when you get to basic training or you get to reception, actually you're going to get issued two pairs of summer boots and a pair of winter boots. You know, obviously if you're going to base training in the summer, you're not gonna be wearing those winter boots. If you're going to base training in the winter, you're gonna be wearing those winter boots because it might be actually really cold. But what you need to do, what you need to make sure you do is you need to alternate your boots. Most people have a knot on one boot kind of lace just so that they can keep track of alternating. But that's actually gonna be really important because let's say for example, you're out doing an FTX or something, you're using a pair of boots and then they just get really muddy, they just get really wet and then like the next morning you have to get up and do like a ruck march, you have to walk for several miles but you have to switch your boots. There's some people who wear the same boot all the time. You don't wanna do that because in that instance, you're basically gonna be putting on a brand new fresh pair of boots that aren't broken in, that are going to tear up your feet, that your feet aren't used to. Your feet hasn't kind of molded to it and kind of broken in the boot. So you need to make sure that you alternate your boots to the best of your ability or whatever in order to kind of just ensure that the boots are gonna be basically the same. So no matter which one you use, you're gonna be able to ruck in that one without worrying about your feet so much. Now a big misconception that a lot of people have and I see it in comments all the time, people will say, make sure you wear two pairs of socks. You know, that's you know the way to prevent blisters on your feet. You know, wear two pairs of socks. No, please, for the love of everything in the world, just do not wear two pairs of socks. That's probably one of the dumbest pieces of advice that somebody could give you, which is, hey, just put on two pairs of socks and your feet will be fine. No, that is so counterproductive. I'm pretty sure there might be some kind of socks out there, what, what they might make, or I, th I believe what they have is a pair of socks that's like really thin that you wear, and then you wear like an actual pair of socks on top of that, but you're not gonna have access to that when you get to basic training. The only socks you're gonna have access to are the ones that are issued to you and the ones that you get 
at the PDX whenever you can actually go out and buy some socks. And I'll talk about that in a second, but please do not wear two pairs of socks. One of the main issues and causes of your feet getting blistered is moisture, right? So moisture and friction. Your two pairs of socks are gonna be kind of friction rubbing up against each other. And then you have two pairs of socks that are not made to be layered like that. And then your feet are gonna sweat more, which means your feet are going to get wet, which means your feet are going to get blisters a lot more easily. Your feet are going to get torn up a lot easier if you wear two pairs of socks. Now, if you just wear them, you know, just for whatever, maybe because it's cold and you know you're not gonna do any rucking or walking or anything, then whatever. But do not think that, oh, I'm gonna put on two pairs of socks because we're about to do this 10 mile ruck. Don't do it, it's a mistake. Now, when it comes to your sock choice, that is probably just a huge, it's I don't know, the number one biggest important thing, your sock choice. Make sure you actually get a good pair of socks. Whenever you get to basic, they're gonna issue some socks, those socks are okay, I mean, they're fine or whatever, but what you need to do, whenever your first chance is that you get to go to that PX and you can actually buy some things, the mini PX, not like the main post PX or whatever, but buy some actual good socks, not cotton socks, get some wool socks, because wool socks are way better at, you know, soaking up the moisture from your feet, because again, that is a big problem, is the moisture around your feet, and then they're just gonna be, they're just gonna be better than the socks that you get issued to you. So for me personally, I believe I bought two pairs. And so like basically I just knew that, you know, you'll know ahead of time, you know, like the next day or whatever, which socks you should wear. And you should know, you know, if you're just going to the range or something and you're not doing a long ruck to get there, you know, you will know that you can kind of just wear your normal socks. But whenever it comes time for an actual ruck, and I still do this, I wear my good pair of socks because that just, it just helps. That's a big thing. Get the right pair of socks, get some wool socks, not some cotton socks and then that will help a lot. Now another thing that has to do with the boots that I didn't really talk about that much before is make sure that your boot fits actually properly. Whenever you get issued your boot, just make sure it fits. Like that's that's a huge deal. If your boot is too big, your foot is gonna be just, your, your heel is gonna be going up against that freaking concrete in the back of the, in the back of the boot. Don't do that. Make sure you get a pair of boots that are actually going to fit if your boot is too small then your toes are gonna to be up against it and your toes are gonna to be all jacked up. I've seen both. Your toes can be screwed up, your heels can be screwed up. Make sure they fit, you know, if when you're getting picked for the boots or whatever, just know that it needs to fit right. When you put it on before you ruck, make sure your laces are tight and everything. Don't be cutting off your circulation, but make sure your laces are tight. Make sure your foot is hit against the back of the boot. So you don't want your foot to be, you don't wanna have space. Basically, if your foot fits the boot properly, it's not going to be rubbing up against here. So whenever you put it on, you need to make sure that you hit your heel up against the back, lace up the boot and everything so it's just going to stay in place. So the, the boot fitting and everything, I'll say that 3,000 times, make sure it fits. And then a little bit of prior ruck foot maintenance. Make sure your toenails are cut. Obviously, don't let your toenails get like super long or whatever. Like that's just, that you're just asking for trouble if you're doing that. And then the arm is gonna issue you some foot powder. So make sure you put some foot powder on your feet before you go. The reason the foot powder is important is because it helps keep your feet dry. Again, moisture, your feet being wet is like the main cause. You got friction and then you have your foot, your feet being wet. When you have friction and wet skin, that it, it, it's not gonna be good. So foot powder is a big deal. Don't put too much. Do not put too much foot powder on because like that can clump up and then cause extra friction and cause extra issues with your feet. So just put, you know, an average, a good amount of foot powder on your feet. You're gonna be good to go. Don't put too much and then don't put none at all. Now I know that the majority of this video I have talked about basically preparing your feet for the ruck march. But what actually happens when you get those blisters, when you get those hot spots? If you don't know what a hot spot is on your feet, when you're doing rucks and stuff, your feet in like certain areas, maybe the bottom of your heel, uh, like the, the heel of your foot, or, or really just anywhere. It could be anywhere kind of based on your shoe, your foot or whatever. But if it starts feeling hot, a little bit irritated, a little uncomfortable, then more than likely that's a hot spot, which means that if it doesn't get treated quickly enough, it doesn't get uh, you know fixed or whatever, then it's gonna develop into a blister and you do not want a blister because at basic, you know, if you get a blister, it's like, okay, you got a blister, that sucks. Now every time you walk and stuff, you're just gonna be, you know, really hurting from that blister. So you want to avoid that, but you can't really do that much once you get the, bl the blister. So you need to do all this preparation stuff in order to 
not get a blister because once you get it, there's not much you can do about it. You can go to sit call, you could get some moleskin and put things on it, but all that is just treating the injury. What you wanna do is prevent the injury. So what you wanna do is if you start to have some hot stuff, hot spots developing, if you have the chance, you know, and you have an extra pair of socks or if you go up to the barracks for a short period of time, make sure that you, number one, switch out your socks if you have some moleskin, if you have like a band-aid or something to cover that area, that's what you need to do, right? You need to try your best to treat that. Moleskin is huge. If you're allowed to have moleskin, it's basically, you know, moleskin is like basically, I don't know, it's like a small thin cushion that will surround the blister or even the hot spot if it's a bad enough hot spot and it will basically cause no friction to be happening to that spot so if you have a blister the moleskin is basically going to stick to your foot and then it's going to cause when you're walking the boot is not going to be rubbing up against that blister anymore so it's going to allow that to heal so make sure you treat it as soon as it happens don't you know if you start getting hot spots on your feet the next time you go out for ruck you know make sure you cover that up so that it doesn't get worse on that next ruck because more than likely you're going to have some issues with your feet so don't just kind of like blow that off and be like oh, i'm going to be a tough guy and then you actually get blisters and then like the next time you ruck your feet are actually bleeding because people's feet will bleed i am telling you that you're going to go to base training people's feet are going to bleed because of one of these reasons that i've talked about before either the boot didn't fit or they didn't treat their injuries now the last thing post ruck so at the end of the day when you know when you're going to bed or whatever you want to elevate your feet you want your feet to be elevated up for me like the locker the wall locker was just a little bit higher than where my bunk was so what i did was i just put my feet up on the wall locker so they're ele elevated a little bit before i went to bed that'll help a little bit that's not going to really make or break you but that's generally a recommended thing that you should do after ruck marches is elevate your feet so that is going to be it for this video it was actually really important now, i know there was a lot of you guys out there that probably have never heard this stuff before maybe if you're a hiker maybe you've heard of several of these things before but your feet it's going to be extremely important because you're going to be on your feet all the time at basic training you're going to be on your feet all the time in the army in general so your feet are really important and you need to take care of your feet because if you don't take care of your feet you are just going to be miserable the only thing that you're going to be thinking about when you're walking when you're going from point a to point b is oh my gosh my feet are hurting like crazy like you just want to get off of your feet so save yourself some trouble listen to my advice listen to the things that i've said in this video because it is really important take care of your feet at base training really above everything else don't be a fool and wear multiple pairs of socks don't be a fool and don't put on foot powder before you go to base train or before you go on a ruck. Don't be a fool and don't alternate your boots and then the circumstance comes up and you have to go for a long ruck where you have to wear the pair of boots that you have broken in. Don't do that. I'm telling you guys, I'm just telling you, this is a big pro tip. Just, you know, if you want to rewatch the things I've said or make some notes on it, go ahead and do that. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome if you want to stick around some more of my videos. Hit that subscribe button. That would be even freaking better if you're not following me on instagram and snapchat social media links are right there hit that notification bell button because youtube is just really weird and if you're subscribed sometimes people don't see my video so hit that notification bell button if you want to make my day i hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and i'll see you later